before I start this video, I would just like to thank everyone for 62 subscribers. Never thought I'd make it this far, and I would like to thank everyone for almost 2,000, 3,000 views. But anyway, let's get started with the video. Another quick announcement is thanks to MPT482 for letting me be the voice of this character, Christopher, who is a GS4 Daylight. Uh, thanks to him, I will be doing this, and, uh, I would just like to thank him very much, and, uh, you're a great guy, Mark, and, uh, I'm ready to, uh, voice Christopher. So, without further ado, let's get started with the video. Hey guys, I'm here today, we are doing Volume 1 and 2 of the 2014, uh, catalogs, so let's get right into the, to the, uh, train. Uh, here, first off, we have a vision of the big boy. I would love to have the 40, 4014. And uh, one thing I want to do with the 4014, actually, is to weather it. Uh, you might be saying, Wayne, why would you weather a Vision 9 engine? I just think it would look really cool um, weathered, and uh, it would go very well. Either that, or by 4012, 40, that is up in Scranton, Pennsylvania, and uh, get that one model and uh whether that to make it ju look just like the one in screen and have it on display and have the 4014 uh being the one that had been technically restored and to operation condition so the first train first cars first engine you're gonna see besides the big boy is the blue conrad big blue high q box car set uh i don't i cannot stress this enough because i would like to only have steam on my road and have these little helper engines, but I wouldn't mind running this engine occasionally. Um, um, the, thanks for my mistake if I'm wrong here, guys, but I'm pretty sure this en uh, engine is a heritage unit. So, uh, yeah. So now we have the Pen Pensy M1A call your uh eric siegel did a review on this and i love the review i love the whistle and i just love the engine <coughs> dying here we have the burlington zephyrs again i do not like these so if anyone has a disagreement with me um i'm sorry about that i just don't like the burlington zephyrs here we have the gold golden version of the polar smash the golden cars I do like this, and I do like how it has the uh, number boards on top. Here's the normal Polar Express, but it's more of the real, real life. Here, mark at 1225 with the uh, marker, marker um, numbers. And then we have Berkshire's. Uh, like I said, in the 2017 catalog review. Uh, I want the NKP 765 AD 1225. Here we have uh, 756 AC 12 cap boards and Pensy M1As. I'd give a second Pensy M1A so I could double head it and the cap boards. I'd get the one that is in the California Railroad Museum. California Railroad Museum. Here we have Heavy Mikados. They do not have a Southern. Version or at least all of it. Yeah, I see LNN. Reverb. They know how to sell engines. I would not like it. Thank you. Here we have H7 class 282s. 282s, I should be saying 282s. Like I said last time, I did the best peak in Ohio. The engine. Here we have USRAY3s. I get the North Oregon West version. Uh, pet the SC turbines if I had. Um, uh, I'm not a huge fan of the SC turbines. I'm not gonna, I can say I hate it. Not just, I just, that's gonna be on my list of, I have to get this thing. Not, I have, can't wait 15 years. I have to get it back. And just have the engine. But I do like it, uh, the 6, the 200 is the most, it's the one that they built and scrapped. I'd probably get the one that actually has the real number of It'll probably show me. Yeah, 6200 was the one they had in real life. 
Here we have pilot locomotives. Uh, I'd probably get the pilot J and the pilot Y3. Here we have H2766 Trackmasters, the southern version, and the, uh, hmm, probably the southern, southern Pacific version. Here we have Big Macs of the EM, of EMD, which are basically SD70 MACs, Max. I get the, the Burlington Northern and the Kansas City version. Kansas City Southern version. Here we have ES 44 ACs. I'd get the Union Pacific CSX. And actually, I didn't get any of these. These are all look really, really nice. Moving along, we have the FA2 AA sets. Uh, I get the Wabash, Baltimore, Ohio, and Lehigh Valley. Is that the one down there? Is that what that is down here? No, MKT. So, yeah, I'd probably get one of those. Here we have more FA2 FA2 AA sets. Uh, neither one does I like. Here we have also have single centipedes. Mm, probably get the Pensy because I do like the Pensy uh style of the centipede. Here we have EMD uh EA diesels. Uh, probably get the CNO or the Rock Island, and I'll be right back for just a second. And I'm back, and moving along, we have EMD, the E8 or slash E9. I'd get the Wabash, Texas, or the te Texas Pacific. Special. Special. So we have F units of diesels of EMD. Uh, speaking, and you see the Central, Jersey Central Lines engine, and... Today, I actually saw the heritage unit for that engine, and uh, that was a really nice thing, but I could not take a picture of it. I was really distraught when I saw it. I was like, that's a heritage unit, and I was all like crazy about it, saying my phone was stupid and stuff like that, but I did take a picture of the train I was filling. I was filling an intermodal train. Well, my chart knows, as I said this before, I'd probably get the Southern Pacific, and uh, I don't remember the other one I said. I think I said either the... Pensy or the BNL. Here we just have GP thirty five and I don't I don't specifically want a GP thirty five, so we're just gonna skip those. And here we have S D forty that and no fucking wants an S D forty that shoot. Another road I'm high into is uh no fucking western. Command control nineteen fifty five MOW uh trucks no, not really. I wouldn't get those. Uh, command control vehicles. Speeders? I think these are called? Yeah, speeders. Uh, I probably wouldn't get any of these. Uh, if I did have to get one, though, if I was like getting, if I had a like, gunpoint and was told to buy one of these, I'd probably get to be BNSF or CSX. We just have freight cars now. So, uh, I'm just gonna skip along. To the uh, Legacy Crane and Boom Cars. Uh, I actually do like the uh, Sun Pacific version and the CSX version. So these two being on the same page is really a big help for me. So then I don't have to go to the to two different pages to say which ones I like. Now I'm not gonna say I don't like the two three other ones. I just like those two better. The reason I was being quiet, guys, was because the uh, train is going by right by my house. Uh, not too far. It's not, like, right outside my house, but it is not too far. So I was going to be quiet and see if y'all could hear it. If y'all could hear it, please do let me know. Uh, I do review my videos, but I might not be paying attention and I might not catch it. But here we have 18-inch aluminum cars, car, cars. And, uh, apart of my, uh... 
random things I would randomly say because I have terrible grammar and I cannot speak sometimes, especially at eleven ten in the in the p.m. Uh, but so here we have eighteen inch aluminum cars. Uh, I would take the Chesapeake in Ohio. Uh, for one reason and one reason only. Uh, I do love the paint style. The paint style. That's the only reason I want them. Uh. So, for Christmas, guys, I'm just saying this. I'm getting a Norfolk and Western 611 Class J, but it's a post-war 611 Class J, so it's not going to have a realistic whistle or legacy. But I do have a conventional railroad for now. And uh, I will do a video on my uh, model layout. Uh, I may do a series, just like MP MPT 4A2. I might do a model railroad uh series but only if i get enough engines and enough voice actors so far I, I will only have three engines and those engines will be announced later on in a different video but uh so on i was up up there i was looking for new cars for the uh 611 and i saw chesapeake and ohio cars and i was like i love this paint style so that's kind of my reasoning for wanting these and cars and um before we head on, I'll be right back. I'm back, and here we have some more cars, and uh, these are just Wabash, what looks like Wabash, Kansas City, Union Pacific, and more. Here we have heavily loaded. I did talk about those in my last video, and so let's keep going. This here was the start of the Lion Chief program, which, as you can guys hopefully can tell, I don't know if this was a complete success. I don't know how many Lion Chief engines are being sold, but I do want the Lion Chief 4501. Uh, it may not be the more realistic version, like MTH Premier Lions 282 4501 Mikado, but, I, but the Mikado for that costs $1,000. And the Lion Chief Mikado costs uh, just under forty four hundred and thirty dollars. So I'd rather get the four thirty four four hundred and thirty dollars to have a less realistic engine than to get a more realistic engine and having to cost pay one thousand. But if any of you guys do have the MCH uh, Premier Line four five zero one and you just don't want it and you're just get, wanting to get rid of it and you don't want it, and uh, I would love to have it. Uh, so yeah, but let's keep going. Oh yeah, I didn't specify, but I do want the Chessy system, uh, line chief Mikado. Here I want the here I would get the Baltimore, Ohio, and the Southern Pacific engines. Here we have four six four Hudsons. Uh, the last ones were Pacifics, and here we have the Hudsons again. Um, I'd get the Chesapeake in Ohio. Is that what that says? Is it? Yeah, Chesapeake. Let me check for yeah. Just think in Ohio or the Canadian National. Here we have RS threes and GP sevens. I don't really want any of those, so let's keep going. Uh, I already talked about those. Talk about this. Talk about those two. I think if I didn't, uh, I'd take the engines and um. I think the Great Northern. What? Wait. What? What's that one? Hmm, I can't read that. Oh yeah, it's a UP Heritage Unit. I knew it was a Heritage Unit. It's the C and and C and N W Windy City set. So in the yeah, asses UP. Something I can't believe that very good. The Jersey Central one, yes, I would get that. The Union Pacific Gold Coast Flyer set, I'd get that, and uh, I do love the um Greyhound paint scheme on that. And uh, I think that's about it. Let's go to the volume two. And we are back with volume two, so let's get into it because I want to get this done and over with because this is already a very long video. This is gonna take forever to upload. So here we have No Falcon Western 
six why six Bs? I want the twenty one seventy one, which is the one on the bottom and the big one. Only because it is the it was the last surviving uh Y six B until it was scrapped and uh I forgot when it was scrapped. If anyone doesn't remember know when it was scrapped, please let me know. I think I know it was like nineteen seventies, I think, pretty sure. Nineteen seventy, nineteen eighty. Here we have ten the ten wheelers. Um, I actually haven't looked over the railroads, uh, but I know for a fact I do want the Canadian National, National, because I do love the Canadian National, and I. And the reason is Eric Siegel did a review on the Canadian National one, so why not get the Canadian National one? Of our, cause I don't know, I just like it. GP thirties, uh, nothing really. I guess the Southern. Besides that, nothing really. Switchers. Don't need a switcher. I have steam switchers. Uh, Y3 steam locomotives. Norfolk Western uh, weathered one. It's right here. The 2029. So let's continue. This is just accessories, so I'm going to skip to the Next engines, actually, I might be done because the only end. Okay, never mind. So this will be the last engines for this video because all the rest are the same as last video. I mean, not this will be the last as the last catalog. This is, but these are the new line chief ones. These are the Camelbacks, and I'd probably get either the Central of a. Uh, Jersey or the where are we going here? Erie. So uh Yeah. So another thing I wanna say is um Union Pacific auxiliary water tanks. Uh, I'd probably get the one with the flag, the Jim Adams, because I really do like, I do need an auxiliary water tank, and I do like the uh, American flag logo that the uh, Union Pacific has. So guys, I hope you guys did enjoy, uh, next time we'll be doing the uh, signature edition for 2015 and volume 2 for 2015, uh, there's volume if you're wondering where the 2012 versions are, they uh, have been, the video got messed up, and so I'm having to redo that vi those videos, and I just haven't gotten to, around to actually thinking about redoing those, <coughs> but they will be done shortly. Uh, I'm thinking actually about doing those last after I'm done with the signature edition for volume for 2017. I'll go back and do the 2012 ones video, and, uh, yeah, so guys, if you did, slap the like button, uh, again, I want, again, thank you to, uh, MPT, uh, 42 for letting me do Christopher, and, uh, hopefully, uh, I'll do great at it, and, uh, hope you guys will see me on that, and, uh, talk to you guys later, goodbye.